Well, the former Harriman police chief charged with misdemeanor assault, getting his case tossed out in Anderson County Court. Ken Humphrey was the acting chief of police at the Harriman Police Department when he was arrested, accused of grabbing a fellow bar goer by the neck and injuring him. This happened at Swifty's Bar and Grill in Oak Ridge back in June. The witness failed to appear at the first court hearing in October, so the state issued a subpoena for another hearing scheduled for today. But as WADE 6 on your side reporter Bridget Biorlo shows us, there was once again no sign of the witness in court this morning. An Anderson County judge dismissing the assault case against an East Tennessee police chief because the subpoenaed witness failed to show up to court. I'm going to dismiss the case this time. Case dismissed for the former head of the Harriman Police Department. Back in June, Ken Humphrey was the chief of police when he was arrested on assault charges in Oak Ridge. He was accused of putting his hands on a fellow customer at Swifty's Bar and Grill while off duty earlier this year. The victim suffering injuries, according to police. The defense maintains that no such assault ever took place. There was no altercation, that's what we say. Attorney Michael Clement was prepared to argue his position in court, but when the victim who received and signed a subpoena to appear in court never showed, the case was tossed out. I believe it's the right ruling. Clement says had the case ended differently, it would have had professional consequences for his client. Any person in a public position is at least exposed to the potential that these things happen. Uh, obviously, had he been convicted, it, it would have damaged him. That's one of the reasons that we so vigorously opposed it. Now I'm told the witness will have the opportunity to reopen the case until the statute of limitation comes to an end in June. In Anderson County, Bridget Biorlo, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Bridget. Now Humphrey took a leave of absence shortly after all of this happened. And in October, he notified the Harriman Police Department that he would not be returning to his position as chief of police.